Good morning. I do not want to go for this run today. It is raining a little bit. Did you see all that? I'm steaming up. Oh my goodness. All that rain. All that rain before was from about half past five this morning. It woke me up. I did fall back asleep at like quarter to seven for an hour or so. But now it is about half past eight and I'm steaming up again. I'm going to go for my run. Can't be bothered, but I'm going to go and do it. Wow. Never have I ever not in quite so much rain. I'm absolutely dripping wet. <laughs> oh my goodness. All showered. Stephen's just getting dressed. We're going to go down and get some breakfast. Stephen's pretending to be asleep. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Look what they just made for Stephen. Like a pancake thing. It's not on the breakfast menu, but she just brought it over for him. Isn't that kind? They're so nice to you, aren't they? Like, generally, Vietnamese is so nice to see them, like, to kids in general. Let's see what this is. It's like a, it's like a cookie. <laughs> I don't know what's inside it. I'll give it a try. Oh my god, that's delicious. It's like soft cookie. A warm, soft coffee. Mmm. Mm. It's a pancake. Oh, it's got pineapple in. Mmm, nice. Oh, breakfast done. I'm absolutely stuffed. Now, are you stuffed, Stephen? Yeah. Yes, we're stuffed. Right. Um, the plan for at least the next couple of hours, I think, is work for me. Definitely. It is around about half past 12 now and I'm having a very productive morning doing loads of work. I've just put the TV on and The Good Dinosaur is on, so I want to watch, watch The Good Dinosaur, see when watching that. I'm kind of half watching it whilst I continue to do some work. The reason why I've just sort of thought this morning why I need to do work is because I've kind of completely neglected the gaming channel since we've been away and the gaming channel is like my source of income whilst we're travelling and so I really need to pull my finger out and be doing like a video a day for the gaming channel so I am trying to get all organised with that and get on top of that again because it's kind of, it's kind of holiday is over now. The last two months have all been like nice travel and holiday time. Now it's kind of yeah, it's like real life now that I'm going to have to spend a couple of hours every day with... I mean, although I've been vlogging and obviously editing the vlogs and stuff, I need to actually spend a couple of hours working every day as well as doing the um, the vlogging stuff. So, that's what I'm doing. But I'm also going to watch little, uh, The Little Dinosaur, The Good Dinosaur. I'm going to catch that critter. <laughs> We've been in the room for hours and hours, it feels like I've been so productive and we're just going to have a little wander out. Oh, I need to buy, what's put in my shoe? Um, I need to buy a new SIM card because my SIM card has run out, I only got it for 30 days and it's actually been run out for a couple of days but I've been making do without. We've just come over across the road. Our hotel where we're staying is there, Champa something or other, I don't really know what it's called. And just across the road is this cool like temple-y thing. So we've just come over to have a little look. Come in, come in. I can see you by the fire. Listen, listen. There's something I must confide I know I said that it'd be fine I know I made it look like it'd be alright But I think I learned my lesson And I'm not gonna let you out of my sight You can call me killer Cause I'll bring you to the light And it might taste bitter When your rents are to God as you look into my eyes Nothing but a sinner You won't get away this time You won't get away this time We're gonna continue going to get our shopping and stuff now 
Um, we're heading just into the old town. I don't know whether we're going to get something to eat or whether we're just going to have a little mooch around. I'm not sure yet. Stephen just wants chips, that's all he wants to eat, and they serve chips. So he's happy coming here, and I'm gonna get like a cheap veggie meal. So I'm happy to, well, hopefully it's nice anyway. The menu for this place looks absolutely amazing. So, so many vegetarian choices, like all the kind of classical Vietnamese dishes, and especially like the Foy An specialities, they've got like vegetarian versions of them, which sat, look and sound amazing. to head home we've had our meal we've had oh nearly got one over by a bicycle that bike's right there nearly ran me over uh, we've had our meal we went for a drink afterwards and it was nice Stephen's just been sat it was so funny this old couple sat next to us like me I was saying I don't know like 65 ish they sat next to us and um this guy Stephen had put on his Stephen was watching something on his iPad and he had headphones on and like he doesn't do that all the time but sometimes it's like like you can sit there of an evening watch something on youtube or whatever it is that he's doing and i was sitting doing some work and whatever on my phone and this these couple this couple was sat next to us and um, this guy was sitting there he was criticizing everybody that walked past and then he said something about Stephen, obviously not knowing that I was English, I was spoken, I mean, I look pretty English, do I look pretty English? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious yeah. that I'm not Vietnamese anyway, but well, I potentially could be able to speak English. <laughs> no, but I could potentially speak English, and he's just sat there, and he was so loud, criticising the fact that Stephen was sitting there, he was like, what's the point of coming out? He's just going to sit on his iPad, oh, and he's connected, because he had his iPad, Stephen had his iPad connected to an external battery. He didn't have much battery left on his iPad, so he, he plugged it in and he's like, oh, and an iPad has 12 hours of battery charge, so that black thing that it's plugged into, why would he need this? It does not have <laughs> I've no idea, but anyway, he was just, you know, he's just sitting listening to someone and you think, you just, like, I can't. I mean, I'm not, like, a confrontational type of person, particularly, but he just really riled me. So I just had to say something to him. And I, I just, but you know when you, like, confront somebody, but you don't confront them? or anything or you just like present them with facts or whatever and he just didn't really know what to say and in well in, anyway in the end we sort of had a little laugh and a joke and um where are we going yeah that's right. and um i was i was friendly i mean i wasn't nasty i wasn't arty or anything i was quite friendly to him and um yeah but he, he just really annoyed me like he was criticizing everyone I just think you know you don't you've no idea like why has Stephen been I don't know, I just can't be doing with people like that that are just completely have no concept of what people's stories are or where people are coming from and you just criticise it and think, do you know what? Shut up. Like Stephen could have been out Stephen could have been I mean he hasn't been, he's been on his iPad or watching films or whatever all day, but that's not the point. He could have been up super early on a trip doing cultural whatever all day all week or whatever and this could be his one evening a like hour that he's allowed to on the ipad that's like i say that is not the case he goes on his ipad and stuff all the time <laughs> it's been pouring down by the way whilst he's been sitting out and think but yeah he's no idea whether that's his one hour in the week where he's allowed to watch his ipad and he's like stop judging and criticizing people it's drive me insane like I'm going now. Stop ranting. No, we're closed out again. We got it this time. This time we know it's not locked. Is it closed? Oh no. Ow! Oh, I just trapped my foot in there. That was stupid. Oh, that really hurt. Ow. Was this 
We are back at home now and I've just got CNN on. I am watching it's the 8th of November and so it's the presidential elections in America and I am just watching the news about it. It is a sorry state of affairs with who you've got to choose from to be honest Americans. I don't envy, well I say I don't envy your decision. I know damn well who I would be voting for if I was American and it would not be Trump, let me tell you that. Um, but I mean, Clinton is not that much better either. But anyway, um, oh, I don't know. Time will tell what happens with all this. So I'm just gonna sit and watch this for a little bit and then go to sleep. I'm gonna have an early night because because I'm tired. Oh, you can see. Oh, the um, the cockerel, or whatever they're called, I think they're called. Are they called cockerel, Stephen? The things that go cockerel. Yeah. Um, the thing outside, that, is that a cockerel? No, oh. Well, whatever that thing is outside, I'm pretty sure it's a cockerel. Um, it's waking me up, it's half past five, it's waking me up in the morning. Five o'clock, half past five. So I need an early night. Yeah. Really, the so tired. Right, go and sleep. Good night. Thank you for watching. We've had kind of a not much kind of a day going on today, but it was a day that needed to be done, a worky day, and more work needs to be done on the gaming channel and just work in general as opposed to always travelling around and exploring and fun times. I need to buckle down and do some work as well. But thanks for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day, whatever you've done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Frankly, calling Mexican immigrants.